All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the curtain wall that goes in this corner over here. So if we look at the PDF, we'll see it right, right here, right? So you can see 7A and 7B. So it's like, you know, 7 foot 6. And we can go ahead and look at 7A and see how big that is. So 7A is 12 foot 7 and, and 7B is 7 foot 6. So let's go ahead and put those guys in. So if I go to top of slab, right, and I go to wall and I pick the storefront generic white again. And I'm just going to leave it set the way it was and we'll adjust it in a minute. And I'll just come in and we can start this one here, you know, draw it out to 7 foot 6. And then we'll start this one. It's kind of hard to tell where it starts. We'll just start it here, kind of draw it over to there and get it in place. It's pretty close, right? So I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. What do we say it was? May have to adjust it. It's 10 feet, right? So, oh, sorry, 12 foot 7 and 7 foot 6. So this guy should be 12 foot 7, right? And it does have 1, 2, 3 divisions, so that works. So I'm just going to move. Looks like it needs to move over a little bit, so I'm just going to pick it and move it over. And you have to pick the system, right? So I'm picking the system here and just moving it over, right, until it looks about right okay and then this guy only has one division I believe so I'm just gonna type in one there right and then um, it looks like it's about right okay so the curtain walls are a little strange when you hit a corner because you can see it's leaving this little bit of wall left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick the bit of wall that's left over and I'm going to drag this guy over to there, right? If I drag it anywhere in here, that piece of wall is just going to sit there. So it gets a little problematic. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, I'm going to move the curtain wall to the edge of the wall, which I really should have done for that first one. So if I pick it and move it out to the outside edge of the wall, and then I pick this one and do the same thing, move it to the outside edge of the wall. Now you'll notice it didn't move because I picked like the mullion. And if I try to move the mullion, it won't move because the mullion is a part of a system. So you need to pick that center line and then you can move using the mullion as just a relative pick place, right? Now, we get out there I can pick this guy and kind of move it to the edge there and then if I pick this guy and move it to the edge there you get kind of a funky corner right but it does get rid of that wall so if I go to my 3d view and spin around you're getting something you know close to what you want it's not exact and we can go in there and kind of play around with the corner later but I think for right now that's good enough just to get us going. And then come in, again, tab through, select the curtain grid, unpin it, and type in eight feet right there. You can pin it back. And then same thing over here, tab in until you get the grid, unpin it, and then set that to eight feet. And you've got that guy in. So it's a little bit of machinations on the corner, but it does a pretty quick job of cutting it out. And for our purposes for right now, that's okay. We'll come back and work with it a little bit more later.